This 10 episode series will take you on a monumental 67 day, 14,000 kilometer overlanding, camping, fishing, and photography journey to the Arctic Ocean in the summer and fall of 2023. My name is Karsten Arnold, and I'm an intrepid explorer and a professional architectural and fine art photographer. On this epic journey, you'll travel from the 49th parallel on the Canada US border through all of British Columbia the Yukon and all the way to the 69th parallel at the end of the Dempster Highway and the Arctic Ocean in Tuktoyaktuk Northwest Territories, and then to remote locations in Southeast Alaska to the North Pacific Ocean. It took four years of planning and months of preparation, then 10 weeks on the road experiencing some of the most stunning scenery in all of North America to complete the Great Northern Project. In this series, you'll experience some of the over 150 fishable rivers and streams that were easily accessible beside the highways and back roads along the way. Follow in the footsteps of the Klondike Gold Rush, discover amazing places to photograph and camp, and even view vacation rental locations along the way, some of which I professionally photographed as a commercial architectural photographer. Locations will be displayed regularly on maps and descriptive text. Each of the episodes will take you through approximately one week of the journey and the final episode will guide you through how I planned this trip, the tools I used, how to budget for a long journey, and recommendations on how to travel to the far north. To give you some perspective on just how long this 14,000 kilometer or 8,700 mile road trip is, here's a visual comparison of two other routes with similar distances. This route across all of Canada from coast to coast and back again would be a total of 14,706 kilometers or 9,138 miles. And this route all around the outside of the US would be a total of 8,657 miles or 13,932 kilometers. This series is full of amazing adventures, great streams to fish in, incredible photographic opportunities, wildlife encounters and stunning locations. Join me as I take you on this epic Great Northern Experience. bit of packing is all done. There's all my kitchen stuff, more kitchen stuff, dry food storage, clothes, personal items. It's time to take the walls down and get this party started. all coming down. Time to make this trailer roadworthy. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Truck is all packed, ready to go. Thought I'd have a little bit more space back there, but we are pretty much crammed with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buckets back here. And on the inside of the truck, pretty full as well. There's my Blue 80 AC 180. That's my power supply. Got my fishing equipment in here, and uh, just like to thank my sponsors: Pacific Rivers Outfitting Company, Chilliwack, BC, and Loop Fly Fishing Equipment. And no sticker here, but for Photo Central in Winnipeg, who have kindly donated a Nikon P1000 camera, which is awesome. We're going to use that an awful lot on this trip and you will see the results and we'll give you a review on that as well. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. This is great. Two and a half months, 10 weeks, 12,000 kilometers, 
fly fishing, photography, filming, putting this all on YouTube for you guys. This is amazing. Uh, this is a trip of a lifetime. Hope you enjoy the journey with me. And uh, let's have some fun doing this, shall we? And we're off on the Great Northern Project. A huge trip up to the Arctic Ocean. I'm on the road! I, I saw it! Yes. Right. Hey, it looks like I, I can say it's probably the last uh, acquaintance to see you in Chilliwack before you uh, hit the highway. Yes, you you have that honor, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Just getting last minute farewell greetings, wishes from friends and family this morning. Here we are climbing up the infamous smasher on Coquihalla Highway, Highway Number 5, or a highway through hell. It is evening on the first day. Lovely evening at my campsite here on the Thompson River. Look at this great sunset. Isn't that beautiful? Good morning everyone. It is the morning of day two of the Great Northern Project and uh, here we are on the shores of the Thompson River. So the plan for the day is going to reorganize the, the truck and the camper just a little bit, get things a little bit more efficient with all the buckets in the right place and so on. The rest of the day looks like uh, beautiful weather and I'm going to head up to Clearwater which is north of Kamloops where I'll be stationed for about uh, four days and uh, we'll check out the fishing situation over there. Just heading up north of Kamloops towards the town of Barrier. I am on the road from Clearwater up to Moose Camp. Heading 29 kilometers up for service road. It looks to be a little dusty back there. Interesting road, folks. Stay tuned for this one. It is the morning of day three, and here I am at Moose Camp. So what a beautiful morning it is. Nice and cool and crisp out here. Certainly a change from the hot weather that's further down the mountain in Clearwater and in the Kamloops area. It's about six o'clock in the morning, and I'm off to do some drone aerials of Rio Lake. There are two lakes on the property here. There's Rio Lake, and there is uh, Doobie Lake. I was in Doobie Lake last night and uh, quite a stunning sunset there. Let's check this out. Check out that view. Everybody's out this morning already. Get some good photos this morning. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Pretty amazing place when the sun comes up. It really is. Was just dropped off by the owner and his side by side coming down that little rough uh, road here and now I'm on the lake 
and I am ready to do some fishing. I'm just waiting for a couple of their clients to come by so I can get some nice photographs of them in action catching fish and, and using the boat and so on being on the lake. So the clients uh, showed up and I'm just following this one fella here because my job is to capture this guy catching a fish and holding it up for the camera. Oh, <laughs> I saw that. Did you get that? I got it on video, yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, that was good. Boat full of gear. my ride back home. I'm winding up my day at Moose Camp where I photographed the lodge and one of the cabins. Tomorrow uh, I'm starting off really early, probably at 7 o'clock, 7.30, I'm leaving here, uh, grabbing the, the camper, which is just down the road in a, in a little parking area. Take that into town, down 30 kilometers, where it's a very dusty road again, uh, into clear water, and then up to the ski hill, where there is the next client that you will see. It's a food truck. And we're going to be photographing uh, lifestyle photos. Anyways, a great day today, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. We just saw Lynx. Day four, and here I am uh, back in Clearwater at the Clearwater Ski Resort. So I'll be photographing backcountry bulls this morning, getting some food shots, some lifestyle photos which is kind of a unique experience here. It's a little bit different than uh, what I was used to the last couple days over at Moose Camp. Oh, it does get hot in the kitchen, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. You're going to hear that snapping a lot. I'm just going to take thousands of images here today and give you the best of the best. goat trail here on the way to the Clearwater River to do some fishing. Just hiking down a little path here from a little back road that I went on to try and find some fishing here on the Clearwater River. And I can hear the river down below. It's a smoky day. You can smell the smoke in the air. This is the first time in the trip that I've been uh, subjected to any kind of smoke from all the fires burning up in northern BC. Oh, this has got some promise here. This is going to be good. Very remote spot, which I like. Little beach area here too. Wahoo. Wow, look at that. It's a nice little white water there. The Clearwater Kayak Festival is on today, so we'll be seeing some kayakers, I think, coming through this Kind of looks like uh, maybe a class two or class three water. Well, that looks fishy, doesn't it? This little beadhead nymph of some sort. Forget the name of that one. Self untangled. All right, let's give that a try. Now, if I were a fish, I would want that. Ah, I got a snake. Oh, fish just rose up to take it. I pulled it in too quick. Ha! Ah, all right, well, we'll leave it sit there because there's one in there. A couple more casts. Make it look real pretty. Gutsy. 
First time I've ever seen a car jam on a forest service road. This is during the kayak festival. And this is uh, the launching point for all the kayaks. And apparently it's a party up here. And I head into town just to get away from the big crowds. And I was fortunate to have uh, come up to this uh, guest house over here and they were kind enough to give me uh, access to their little parking lot at the end of a street. Um, just so that I can get this nice little stretch of the, the Clearwater River. And of course I didn't bring my waders because I thought, ah, that seems like a pretty big deal for such a hot day. It's about 31 degrees out. And so I thought, uh, you know, let's just uh, wade right in with our shoes on. Yeehaw. And he shakes the hook. <laughs> nice. Nicer than the last one. Oh, you're a good size. What do we got there? Well, we got a whitefish. My hour is up. It's just a bit too warm. Caught two fish, one rainbow, one whitefish. I'm good for the day. Clearwater Ski Hill. Today is going to be about photographing uh, backcountry bulls again uh, this morning. We were going to do it yesterday morning but the timing just didn't work out for the client so we postponed it today. Uh, after that it's going to be uh, time to do some fishing again. I might need to relocate the trailer depending on if I'm allowed to keep it here for an extra night. And then I got to shoot again at 5.30 this afternoon for yet another client. And uh, then I'll be back here again and hopefully there won't be any big party going on like it was last night. Uh. My morning breakfast wrap, compliments of backcountry bowls. Did my photo shoot with them this morning, it was amazing. Got some lifestyle shots, watched them make a lot of this type of food. These guys are great, if you ever run into them, Man, you've got to stop and, and chow down on their food. It is amazing. This morning I just finished the shoot for Backcountry Bulls. It's time to do some fishing. It's just too stinking hot out here. It's already in the mid 30s Celsius. And just standing in the water there, as cool as that is, uh, I was baking after about five minutes. So I'll just hike back up to the truck. <sighs> oh, I can't do that. It's just too hot. 36 degrees out here. First time using the solar panel to charge up the Buetti AC-180. Morning of day six on the Great Northern Project, and it's time to wash this baby. R2 or Red 2 has uh, gotten a little dusty over the last couple of days here in Clearwater, going over some of these Forest Service roads. Today it's a, a shoot at the uh, Great Bear Bed and Breakfast 
and uh, then it's off to Blue River and then up towards Jasper uh, for a shoot in a couple days time. So hopefully we'll do some fishing today, we'll see what uh, happens, but in the meantime, R2 is getting the bat. So is the trailer. It's pretty dirty. So I've got a little bit of time and I thought I'd go for a little hike up to this waterfall here. We'll check this out. Temperature is only 19 degrees out. It's dropped like about 11 degrees. It was 30 degrees when I left Clearwater. It's so nice to get into the cool weather and a little bit of moisture. Boy, we can sure use it. Looking forward to camping tonight in Blue River. I'm on my way, should be there within the hour. morning of day seven of the Great Northern Project. I can't believe it's been a whole week since I've started this journey. I am in Blue River this morning still. Uh, I decided to stay an extra night tonight. Today I'm going to sort of take it easy a little bit before I go fishing. I'm going to start making myself a loaf of bread, some beer bread which I'll show you, and uh, I'm going to do some tidying up a little bit and then we'll show you the inside of the trailer as well. I've got a small Dometic fridge, like really small. I've got a three burner stove there, a sink, uh, some storage underneath the sink. Um, here's my dining area. So those are my main uh, food items are in here. Things I access uh, pretty much every day. Inside here, uh, I've got some food as well. Things I'm gonna use more often. Underneath, sort of lesser used items, some larger things like pots and pans, and, and way back there, kind of some miscellaneous kitchen items as well. A couple weeks time my brother is joining me and this will be uh, his sleeping area here. The table will lower down and I've got a nice uh, blow up mattress that will go inside. On this side is the bed. Like a queen size bed practically. Very comfortable. There I got my cutlery and my dishes and so on like the everyday kind of stuff. And there's a bit of a storage drawer underneath there as well. Blue Eddy AC 180. Power supply, it's got four AC outlets. It's got some DC outlets as well, it's 12 volt, and a bunch of USB-A and USB-C outlets there. This thing is great. It's been a real lifesaver so far. All right, we're gonna be making some beer bread. Beer bread's a pretty simple recipe, not a whole lot of ingredients to it, but super easy to make on a barbecue, which is really handy if you are camping uh, here's the recipe itself. I'll just show you here. This is my Google Keep list. So after you take it out of the loaf pan, you are left with a perfect barbecue beer bread. Wow. That's tasty. Oh, it's raining hard. It's just pouring out. And I'm going to head down to the river and uh, see what we get. Survey our domain. 
And if I don't get anything, I can blame it on the fly, the length of the leader, the time of year, the temperature, the humidity, or the fact that it's just pouring rain. Or I've just got bad luck. <laughs> Today I'm using the Loop Opti K2 five weight rod and the Loop Q in a four six weight reel. This thing casts so nicely, it's so smooth, unreal. And I'd like to thank my sponsors, Loop and Pacific Rivers Outfitting and Photo Central from Winnipeg for sponsoring the Great Northern Project. Good size rainbow. All right, what a beauty. Check that out. That is a beautiful rainbow. And it's uh, starting to get dark out, so it's time to head back. It's a bit of a slog walking through the, the river here. A wonderful day today, kind of a, a peaceful sort of day where I didn't have to work and uh, where I got to make some bread. Overall, probably the number one day so far on the trip. Last night it was pouring rain. Now I've got a major leak in the 